What is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. Yes, you've guessed it. It's another stock video. All of the stuff that you can see here, all this amazing stuff is for sale. Yeah, the link is in the description below, but just Google Jordan's Vintage World. You'll find the eBay store, you'll find the Facebook store, you'll find the Instagram store. So like always, I've got no plan for this video. I just set a stuff out. There's a lot more stuff in this as well. This is literally all that I can get on my kitchen table, yeah? So I've got no plan for it. I'm just going to take you through it because there's some amazing Corgi Dinky. There's Red Lines. There's Spot On. There's Minic. There's X Shop Stock stuff. I'm not kidding you. Do you know what I'm saying? So am I going to plan? Uh, do you know what? Let's go from the right side and let's get through it, right? As you can tell, this is literally I live the dream every single day. This is my dream thing. I've been doing this for, God, officially maybe, I don't know, 13 years and uh, it never gets old. That excitement just keeps going constantly because you never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to pick up. And I absolutely love it. Anyway, let's get into this video. I'll stop rambling. Corgi catalogs. These are full trade packs. They've never been opened. You know, literally never been opened. They've never been sold. They are as new. I say never been opened. You know, that's as far as they've got, if you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, they're awesome. Anyway, we've got some box corgis going on over here. Stunning. Dingy. Yo, what are you saying about this set, though? Plastic stuff like this, 60, 70 stuff, is really starting to come through. You know, it's getting up there with the Korg and the Dinky stuff as well. And do you know what? I love it. And you'll notice as well, we'll get to them. There's some very rare stuff in here, like Tour de France stuff as well. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited about them. Anyway, let's just go pan up, down, like I always do. Triang Minic. Gorgeous, that's lovely as well. Slightly early, one of the earlier colours. Original price, the guy paid for it, looks still on it. And to be fair... I'll probably retail that at a similar price. You know, I always like to try and be as competitive as I can. Guess you the bargains. Guess you coming back. Guess you excited. We've got an original box James Bond car. We've got some lovely Minic stuff. That as well is gorgeous. Sadly, no out of box for it. Originally in the packaging, is there? It's got the animals. It's a nice example. We've got a bit of Lego Denmark going on here. That's nice. Early Lego. Yeah, these are one more. These are stunning. Rare. Very, very rare. You just don't see them. Love that. Stunning. Competition mini in the yellow. Lovely example. It's a couple of Scalectrics bits as well. There we go. Scalectrics. There's some over there as well. As you can tell, it's been a long day. This has been about a 400 mile round trip for me to get them. So, you know, we're just going through it as we do. We've got some box Minic. These are lovely examples. Do you know what? These are not even going to be a lot of money. And Minic always sells so quick for me on the eBay store. So... You know, when this stuff is going up, which will be the same time as this video is when I'm going to start listing them, you might want to get over and get in some stuff. Don't forget, worldwide shipping is available. Combined postage is available. Lovely um, dinky uh, glider gift set. I love that. What are we saying about these as well? These got just a charm about them. Not an expensive model, but a lovely scale. And they just look awesome. I love it. I think that's awesome. Opening tailgate as well. Brilliant. Now, spot on stuff. Always, you know, I'll always buy it, even when, you know, chip stuff like this. And of course, I'll buy that being a Beetle. I'm very much a Volkswagen man. Go back to the channels, you'll see some of my 1965 real one of these. Yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Minic, spot on Route Master Bus. Lovely 142 skill. That's a gorgeous thing. Wait on that as well. When you compare that to like the Corgi one, for example, that's gorgeous. Over in the back as well, you might notice. That's a trade pack. You'll see that soon. We've got the collector's case. Lauren Hardy, Rolls-Royce, that's awesome. More collector cases. Now, I believe that's the last red line case that they actually made. And a rare Matchbox case as well. Standing with the Mustang on there. Talking about Matchbox, we've got some lovely super fasts. Lovely condition on these as well. Cars as well, standing. Do you want to see a car? Of course you do. As you can tell, Volkswagen, man. Let's pull out the Volkswagen. Standing, I love that. Let's try and get a focus on it for you. Gorgeous example. Just pop that down with there. Then we've got some red lines. You know, nothing exciting. Well, I say nothing exciting. Nothing very rare, you know, nothing too valuable. But still, red lines are getting harder to find these days. And they're presentable examples, you know. They wouldn't be a bad one to add to your collection. Now, we've got the Dinky Guy Warrior Lorry. Now, if you can remember, right, a couple of years ago, if you don't know, these are one of the most desirable Dinky Lorry castings you could get, aside, obviously, from the Weetabix, etc. These flat-fronted guy trucks. This sort of condition used to be anywhere from 250 to 350, if not more for a mint example. I don't know, it's the original box, it's the correct box as well. I, you know, oh, top of my head, maybe what, 150 these days? That should still be presentable at that. Nice. Now, a great corgi casting that they absolutely got right is the Bombug. 
I think that's awesome. I love that. And don't forget, these Wiz Wheels ones just have amazing artwork, which just to be, you know, it's, it's better than the model sometimes. Now these, rare. You don't see many of these. I put a picture up on Instagram and people started going a bit crazy over and messaging them. Yo, how much, how much? So uh, I haven't done my research yet, but I've been told they are quite vi valuable and uh, be sensible about them. Don't give them away. Anyway, I never do that. Well, I do sometimes, you know, it's all part of the fun. We've got the lovely Tim Blit Mercedes over there. We've got a Highway Patrol. But what I'm loving is this Chevy Impala. Now, I, my dream is to have a 64 low riding Impala, okay? So this might be the closest thing of what we get to it. Gorgeous looking little model. But the artwork for me, again, just tops it. When we're there as well, we've got the dinky shell garage station. That's gorgeous. Through two round the front. Another rare one, apparently. This is the thing, yeah. I've been doing this 13 years officially, a lot longer, because I collect as well. I've been doing it most of my life, let's be honest. Buying and selling, flipping, trading, etc. And I've never had these. So it just goes to show that every day is a school day and you will come across stuff you've never had. And you just learn about it and the excitement keeps coming back. Anyway, try our Minic. These are all mint boxed, and I mean mint boxed. If I can uh, try and do it. Sorry, guys. It, it is hard to do one handed, you know, but let's go for something else instead. What are we saying about these? Gorgeous. I love these. I think they're awesome. They've got a lovely look about them. I am determined to get in one of these boxes, though, without uh, dropping everything else over here. Whichever one lifts, there we go. You can see the condition of them. The guy told me, literally, he's never really used them. He's had them from new, so... Yeah, there we go. Another Route Master bus. But what you can see, um, there's a Humber Super Snipe State in there. Maybe in the future, I should open some boxes. I actually get around to it. Do you know what? I was determined to do it. As you can see, these are all new, and the cars actually all come... Well, the ones that come with the oil bottle has it, etc. More stone... Another rare one, the press car. Love that. That's a good vibe, in it? That's awesome. And then we got, you know, some... Uh, we're saying it's a Russian little truck, I think, isn't it? It's that sort of look about it. Skeletrix truck. Nice. Bit of plastic. But anyway, I won't bore you anymore on this video. That's a little bit of a sweep through anyway. As you can see, there's some stunning items here. So now I've got to process them, clean them, photograph them, document them, get them for sale on the eBay store. And like I said, these will go all over the world. If there's anything you like here, drop it in the comments below. If not, Instagram Jones Vintage World, Facebook Jones Vintage World. And you can see this stuff, buy this stuff. Combined postage is available, as I've said. Worldwide shipping is available. And yeah, I'll try, always try and be as compatible as I can. But I tell you what, until next time, exploring with Boss here, Jordan's Vintage World. Thank you very much. If you're just finding this channel, consider subscribing. Hit like on the video. Helps me massively. Costs you nothing. But yeah, stay tuned. More epicness coming very, very soon. Peace and love as per.